Hi everyone, so I'm really excited to announce my first video on my um, hair bow tutorial. So this is going to be part one, and um, right now I have about three bows that I plan on showing you guys how to make. So um, this is going to be starting us off on our adventure of bow making. So I hope you guys are excited as I am to make this video. It's going to be fun, and I'm going to show you real quick the bow that we're going to be making today. This right here is what I call a fluffy bow. And as you can see, all it is is it's just tool. And this is the bow that we are going to make first. So let me show you real quick all of the variety of bows you can make. And these bows are so fun because they're very easy. Anybody can make these bows. And all you have to have is just a little bit of material. And see, here's this one's turned around. Here is a variety of the different bows that I have made for Charlie. So again, these are all just in different colors. Some of them have sparkles in it. Some of it's just plain tool. So this is going to be a fluffy tool bow. And now, let me show you the material that you're going to need. Here's my bow collection, so I'm just going to kind of dump it out here for you. What I normally like to use um, that's a little easier is these little spools of tool, and it's six inches across, and so it already comes um, a good width that I like to use. So I have one in purple, one in orange, pretty much all the colors that you just saw. Here's the pink one and a green one. Or you can also get tool that is just by the yard. So here is the rest of what that looks like. So here's the blue, orange, the pink, a light pink, and a green. And the difference between these two is that um, this is actually a better buy, I find, and it's also less hassle to work with because I can just pull it out and cut it. Whereas this, um, let me show you, it's already kind of folded for you, and so you have to measure it out, and then you have to cut it down the length. And um, so I really only get the yards if I have to, if there's a color that I really like or um, that just kind of stands out to me, I'll get a yard of that. But either way, it's very easy. Um, you can get this at Michael's, at Hobby Lobby, really any kind of craft store. We have a Joann's here, so really any craft store that you have, um, you can get it there. So again, I just kind of like using this one. So I'm going to start off this tutorial just using this green because it kind of shows up a little better um, on the camera and it has sparkles in it. And if you get this sparkling one, it's kind of a little easier to work with because um, the material is a little hard, it's a little coarser, so um, it helps to kind of gather a little bit. So now I'm gonna go over what you're actually going to need to make these cute little bows besides what I just showed you with the material. So again, all it is is just tool. Next, what you'll need is a um, hot glue gun right here. It's already getting hot and stringy. I'm going to burn myself. Um, and then you'll need some string right here. And if you're cutting your own material, I normally like to use a ruler, but since this is already cut up, I'm not going to um, do that. And then you'll need some of these little hair clips right here to use. So, and actually I changed my mind. I already have some pre-cut already. Yes, I already have some pre-cut. So it's not going to be the green sparkling one. It's going to be this orange one, the thinner one. This doesn't have any sparkles in it. So, um, what you do is, like I said before, you pretty much cut it um, across the six inches wide. And then the length you can kind of see here, it's going to be really thin when you first look at it, um, is going to be, let me exactly measure it. I normally just eyeball it, honestly, it does, oh geez, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be an exact length, 
uh, you'll get the hang of it. I mean, I'm serious. It's that easy. It doesn't really have to be um, anything perfect. But just for the sake of this first one, let me get the exact measurements. Okay, it looks like it's going to be 24 plus, so maybe 26 inches long. Okay, so two of these, two of your rulers, and maybe a couple more inches, okay? So this one I, I have already pre-cut, okay? So it looks like this. So now once you have it pre-cut, you're going to want to cut four of these strips right here. So now I'm going to show you the actual process of how to make these cute little bows. So here you can see I have my four pieces and they're all laying on top of each other. So just get your first little piece that you want to work with. I'm just going to put these other on the side. And you're going to want to start at the end. Okay? And then you are going to make it just like how you used to make uh, the fans. You just want to pull this material and scrunch it like that. So you're pinching it right here in the middle and then you're just pulling it in and scrunching it down. So you're grabbing the long material piece right here. Here's where all your material is. And you're just grabbing this extra piece right out here and you're pulling it in. Like you would be like you would do a fan. Like you're making a fan. Okay? And so you just want to try to keep it as in the center as possible. And you just keep scrunching it inwards. Okay? And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to scrunch the material in to the center as much as you can. Like if you're making a bow. Well, not a bow, like if you're making a fan. Okay? And just, again, you know, you'll have to go and kind of straighten out your material right here as you go. But just keep scrunching it in. Okay? Just keep scrunching it in like that like so. See, and here's the rest of this material right here. And I'm scrunching it. See, you can kind of already see that it's starting to make some kind of bow shape. And then you scrunch. Scrunch. Until you get to the very end. Okay? So it should look something like this where you're pinching it right here in the middle. Okay, and you have all this fluffy stuff on either side. It's kind of been scrunched. Okay, now you want to take your string that I showed you from before. Okay, and I normally just pull up a little extra piece like that. And you just want to wrap the string around it till it makes a really tight fitting tie around the center for you. So it pretty much takes the place of your fingers. So you can just keep wrapping it as much as you want, just as long as it's kind of holding your bow. So once I feel like I have enough string on there to tie my bow. Okay, so cut your string. And then you're just going to tie a knot into the string. Just a normal knot, nothing fancy. Okay. And then you're going to clip this extra string. Just kind of clip it down as low as you can, like that. Okay, so this is part one of your bow. Okay, so now you're going to grab another piece. And as you can already tell, you're pretty much going to be doing this four times. So again, I'll show you real quick with this other piece. Basically, you pinch it right here in the middle, pinch the fabric right there in the middle, 
and then from the angle that you have your other side of your fabric floating on, you pull it up like a, in a fan motion and just pinch it in towards the middle with your fingers. So you pull it up and pinch. Pull it up and pinch. Pull it up and pinch. And you just keep doing the same motion until you get to the end of your fabric. And you just keep going, just making sure you're staying in the middle. See? So all I'm doing is really just pinching it in between these two fingers and pulling it up. Just tucking little pieces at a time in there. So again, it looks like this. And again, I will just tie it with string. And you have two more to make. So I'm going to make these real quick and I'll come right back. Okay, so now we have all four of our little fluffy fluffs made. And the next thing I do is I tie two together at a time. And then I stick them on top of each other like that and try to get to the center as best as I can. Okay, so I kind of separated them again like that to their middle. And then I take the string and then I tie them off again right there in their middle. So now you have a bigger one like this. So now you want to tie the other two off. So you want to find out where your middle part is. Sometimes it's kind of hard with all this tool. Okay, so and there's the other part to this one. And you try to match the centers up as best as you can. And just put it on top of each other. Okay, like that. And then you tie it off again with string. So now you have two of these big puppy things. So what I do next is I find the two ends that I think would glue best on top of each other. Okay, I'm going to pick these two sides and now I'm going to glue these two pieces together. I'm putting glue right here where that string is. I'm going to take this other side and just put it right on top of that glue. Be careful, you don't want to burn your fingers. And you just hold it together like that, squish it. Okay. So, your end product looks like this. You have this big puffy ball. Okay. Now, to get the clip on there, I flip it over to the other side that doesn't have glue on it. The bottom part right here, you can normally find it. It's got to have a little piece of ribbon that you can see. And that is where I glue my pin on. See, so this side's going to stay all puffy. This side is where you can find your ribbon. Or not your ribbon, but your string. And that's when you take one of these and you glue it on here. Now you can make these fancy and you can put little ribbon on it so it kind of shows the ribbon but most of the time this is hidden in the hair so you really can't see it so I normally really don't even bother with it so and I just open the clip up like this and I put glue on the side that I'm going to be pushing down onto the string so right here, as you can see, and you want to leave it open because otherwise you'll glue it shut. Okay, and I put a fair amount on there just because my kiddo goes so hard on her hair bows. Like the more glue, the better to have it stuck on the bow. So then I find my string again. 
And then you, I just, just stick it on there like so. Just put it on there and I'll leave my finger in there. Try not to touch the glue because it will hurt. I've done that plenty of times. So just keep pushing it in there. So that it draws to that tool. Okay. So I'm clipping it onto my finger right here so you can kind of see, but here you go. Here is the end result of your tool bow. Okay, so here is the bow that you have made. It's so cute. You can go on your little girl's hair, go in the back of a ponytail. It can even go on shirts as decoration, or you can also put this on a bag if you're giving a gift to somebody. And it just makes for a really, really cute bow. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. This has been my first one where I'm showing you a step-by-step -step craft video. Um, I might have done one before. I can't remember. So I'm still trying to learn the angles of my camera and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll get better by video three of my three-part bow installment. So this is our first bow of this series, our little tool fluffy bow. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you see how easy it is and how much money you can spend in um, just making a ton of these. Actually, it's not a lot of money. I'm going to be saving you money because these are so easy to make. But it can get expensive if you like to buy all the material like I do. So, <laughs> you know, it's really just a toss-up. So, um, I also wanted to show you real quick, if you wanted to spice things up, what you could also do is I have bought Charlie these little letter pins that have her initial on them. And um, you can actually either pin them or glue them into the bow like that. And it just makes um, a little cute decorative thing in the bow. You can get stickers or you can glue anything else or pin anything else right here in the center of the bow. And it's really, really cute. So um, just run with it. And um, if you have a video response, I'd love to see it or any kind of response at all. Just post in the bottom below. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the bow tutorials.